What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video today. I'll be talking about 10 drivers who could join the Haas factory team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. It was announced a little over a month ago that Jane Haas will be retaining one of the Stuart Haas racing chars and will be forming a new organization known as Haas Factory. We already know that Cole Custer will be moving up to the NASCAR Cup Series to drive the number 41 car for Haas Factory in Cup in 2025. They stated at the press conference at Indianapolis that they're getting very close to announcing who will be driving for the Haas Factory team in 2025 in Xfinity. Today, I'm going to speculate on 10 of those drivers who could be potential candidates to join Haas Factory in 2025. So anyways, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. The first driver that could join Haas Factory in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is Ryan Priest. Ryan Priest currently competes in the number 41 car for Stuart Haas Racing. He's the only current SHR driver in the Cubs series that does not have a rise sign at the moment. We know Chase Briscoe is going to the 19, Josh Perry is going to the 21, and Noah Gregson will be going to Front Row Motorsports most likely in the number 34 car next season. Now, Ryan Priest, I think, would be a really good driver to bring into the Haas factory team in Xfinity. There has been talk he'd go to Rick Ware Racing as well, but if you were looking for a veteran driver, that you could bring into the team and build up their Xfinity program, I think Ryan Priest would be the guy to do it. I don't think Ryan Priest is as bad of a driver as some people make him out to be. Sure, he hasn't been amazing in the Cup Series, but you look at his lower series stats. In the Xfinity Series with Joe Gibbs Racing, he picked up multiple wins and multiple victories in the 18 and the number 20 car. And in the Truck Series, driving for DJR Racing at the time, he was a contender for a lot of wins. I think he, in 2022, if I remember correctly, he had no worse finish in 11th or 12th in the 11 or 12 races that he ended up running. He's a very talented race car driver, and they're going to need a veteran driver in that team going into next year to really try to build up their Xfinity Series program. And like I said, I truly do believe that if there's anybody that can really build a program up, it is Ryan Priest. I think he's got a lot of talent, and I think he deserves a chance and opportunity to work on maybe like a younger driver. But if I was a Haas factory team, I would absolutely for sure be looking at Ryan Priest. I think he's an absolute really great driver. He can absolutely for sure get the best out of equipment if you put him in Xfinity car. And I do think, and also he's got a little sponsorship funding as well. United Rentals is going to be coming on. I know they've said they want drivers with sponsorship and funding. But I do think that Ryan Priest kind of fits that criteria. And I think there's a really good chance and possibility that we will see him in a Haas factory team car in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The second driver who could join Haas factory team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is Harrison Burton. We already talked about this, but Josh Berry will be taking over the 21 car for the Wood Brothers next year. Me and the Harrison Burton is going to need a job. Now, Harrison Burton was no denying that he was not ready to move up to the Cup Series, but where his really big strength came from was racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. In 2020 alone, he picked up four wins. While unfortunately getting eliminated in the round of 12 that year, he was still a very solid driver. Driver. I think if you have one more year in Xfinity, I think it could done a lot better. A team that really could help him build up his resume again is Devley Haas Factory. They're going to be the number one Ford team in the Xfinity Series next year, and they're going to get a lot of support from Ford in their Xfinity Series program. I think if you put Harrison Burton in this team and work maybe with Ryan Priest, perhaps, I think Harrison Burton could become a very solid driver. I think he would become a contender for a championship, perhaps, so the Xfinity Series field is likely going to be stacked next year. Harrison, I think, is a very good driver, in my opinion, and there's a chance he could also go to a team like AM Racing if they do somehow, some way, decide to stick around after this year, but I do believe that if you are Haas Factory and you look at the sponsorship he has, he's got basically Dex Imaging, which has been sponsoring pretty much his whole entire career, and he's got his father helping try to negotiate some of those rides as well. I think Harrison Burton absolutely 1,000% needs to be considered by Haas Factory. I think he'd be a really great talent to put behind the wheel. And I certainly think there's a great chance and possibility that we could see a driver like Harrison Burton get behind the wheel of a Haas Factory car next year. I think that he needs to be considered for sure if I'm a team like Haas Factory. And I think he will be considered, though he could also still remain in cup. I think there's a chance he could end up in a Haas Factory team car in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The third driver who could join Haas factory team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is Haley Deegan. Now, Haley Deegan, from what I understand, is under contract with Ford 
through 2026. And unlike the other two drivers, she's actually had talks and conversations about potentially joining the team and the organization. Joe Custer said at the press conference that they have been talking to her and they believe in her and they still think that she has a lot of talent. It is no secret that in 2024 she struggled in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, but she was with the rookie team and organization or a second year team and they were going up stats from Brett Moffin and Brett Moffin, no disrespect, to Haley Deegan, but Brett Moffat is a much better driver than Haley Deegan. That being said, if you had a team surrounding Haley Deegan and had a driver like Ryan Priest working with her, I really do think that Haley Deegan could do a very solid and good job. I don't think she's going to win a race by any stretch of imagination. I know the Haas factory wants to go out there and win races for sure, but I think you got to learn with Haley. Look at Riley Hurts, for example. Riley Hurts took a little bit of time to really start getting into his group, and he finally figured it out in year number two and year number three. Started putting up a lot of great performances, and of course has picked up a couple victories in the last few years and has an outside shot of maybe winning the championship this year. I'm not saying Haley Deegan's going to do that if she goes to Haas Factory, but I do think a team surrounding her, a veteran crew chief, and a presence around her, I think could really help her develop and grow her talent. I think she does have talent. I think she deserves one more opportunity. Now, that being said, if she does struggle next year with the team, if she does in fact go there, I don't know if she'll ever get another opportunity because she will be 24 at the end of next year. But I do think there's a really great chance and a fantastic and strong opportunity that Haley Deegan could for sure end up in a Haas factory team seat in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The fourth driver could join Haas factory team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is actually Riley Hurts. Now, Riley Hurts, we know, currently drives a number 98 car for the Haas factory team and organization. <clears throat> but rumors and speculation have been going on as of late that Riley Hurts could potentially be leaving the Haas organization at the end of the year and could go to 2311 Racing in 2025. We know the Mazda Energy is really working highly with Riley Hurts at the moment. Of course, a terrible Hurts brand. And apparently, it's rumored that they're going to be helping buy a charter and he could be teammates of Bubble Walls potentially next year and also Tyler Reddick. So that could be a possibility too. But let's say that deals fall through for Riley Hurts to go over to the Haas Factory team next year. I could see him, not Haas Factory, 2311. I could see him go, staying with Haas Factory next year. I think he's done a really good job with the team. And I think one more year in Xfinity would not hurt Riley, though I think he's getting closer, closer, potentially being ready to be able to move up to the Cup Series in the future. I think Riley Hurts absolutely for sure has to be considered as a potential candidate to get behind the wheel of one of these seats for next year. And I think the team has, they've sent an offer out to him, and I think he could take that offer if the deal with 20th or 11 falls through. But there is a really good chance he is going to move up the cup next year. But I do think he has to 100% be considered as a potential candidate and possibility for this team, especially if the old falls through with 20 through 11 racing. I think anything's possible, nothing's off the table at this point. But I do think, once again, more than likely, you will see Riley Hurts in a 20 through 11 racing car. But he could also stay with Haas Factory and join the Haas Factory team in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The fifth driver who joined the Haas factory team in 2025 is Matt Benedetto. This is going to be a little bit of an obscure one considering the fact that Matt Benedetto does have a contract with Viking Motorsports through the remainder of this year. And they are talking about maybe trying to bring him back for 2025 as well. But Matt Benedetto, in my opinion, has been doing a very solid job. Now, the one thing that could hurt this opportunity for Matt Benedetto to potentially head over to this team is he doesn't bring a lot of sponsorship and funding to the table. All of his races so far this year, outside of maybe one or two, have been sponsored by the Viking Motorsports organization. Now, could they find a way to integrate the Viking Motorsports team into this organization? That could certainly be a possibility and an option. And I think Matt Benedetto, in my opinion, would be a championship contender if you did put him behind the wheel of a Haas factory ride next season. He's not going to go out there and win like a thousand races by any stretch of imagination, but I do think Matt Benedetto does have a ton of talent and can get the best out of equipment. He's had some stand-up performances this year with the Haas Factory team, in, not the Haas Factory, the Viking Motorsports organization, and I think him potentially getting a chance and opportunity to drive for a team like Haas Factory next year, I think he would earn this chance and an opportunity. I think he will be considered for sure, but there's also a chance he will stay with Viking Motorsports next year, which I don't think will be a bad decision if they kept them around at Viking next year. That being said, I think Matt Benedetto will 100% be a consideration. I think there could be a chance we could see him at a team like the Haas Factory team. If they does it is able to find a sponsorship funding, we could see him at one of these organizations in 2025. The sixth driver could join the Haas Factory team in the Xfinity Series in 2025 is actually Corey LaJoy. 
Corolla Joy, we know it was announced about a week or so ago on Thursday that Corolla Joy would not be returning to Spire Motorsports to drive the number seven car next season. This means Corolla Joy is going to be a free agent. Now, Corolla Joy, in my opinion, he has not been great in the NASCAR Cup Series since getting the Spire Motorsports. He had a couple standout performances, but they've all been on super speedways. He's never ran well outside of super speedway races, which is a shame because I do think Corolla Joy does have some talent. Now, Haas Factory is going to be one team that is considered, and I do believe that Schluter Systems and Bill Barr are sponsors of Corolla Joy, if I remember correctly. So he will be bringing a little sponsorship and funding to the table. And I do think a veteran driver going over there like Corolla Joy would at least make a little bit of sense. Now, do I think most likely he's going to end up there next year? Who knows at this point, right? But I do think he'll be in the Xfinity Series potentially. But I do think he will be a consideration because we know the seven cars available. We've been hearing rumors of Kyle Busch maybe going over there at one point. We've even heard SVG, though most likely Shane Van Gisberg is going to be in a track house seat next year. But I do think because of that, you got to look at Corey LaJoy being a potential candidate for one of these other seats in the NASCAR Xfinity Series next year. And I certainly do believe that going over to a team like Haas Factory could be where he rejuvenates his racing career. I do think Corey does have talent. I know he's not an absolute barn burner. He's been struggling in the Cup Series this year. But I do think he will be considered as a potential candidate possibility. And I could see him for 100% for sure making his way back down to Xfinity and driving for a team like Haas Factory in 2025. The seven driver could join Haas Factory in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is Ty Majeski. Ty Majeski currently drives the number 98 truck for Thor Sport Racing, and I think Ty Majeski has been doing a very solid job this year. He has been one of the better drivers in the truck series, has been able to keep up at times with Christian Eckes and Corey Hyman, just picked up his first truck win of the year. And he's been close to winning a couple truck series championships, and he's nearly 30 years old at this point. He has, of course, had a lot of Xfinity Series experience, of course, driving for RFK back in 2018 in that cursed stage 60 car. But I do think the Ty Majeski has gotten better since that 2018 year. And I do think if you put Ty Majeski behind the wheel of a Haas factory car, I think he could legit be a championship threat and contender because he has been doing a great job this year in trucks. And I think he does deserve maybe a potential chance and a strong opportunity to maybe make the move up to Xfinity next year, get the chance and opportunity to run once again. There are rumors he could go to RFK in the Cup Series at one point earlier this year. And I certainly could see him getting a potential chance and a really great opportunity opportunity to maybe make the move back up to the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025. I think he will be considered, and I could see him being an outside chance and maybe making his way up to the NASCAR Xfinity Series next year, maybe driving for the Haas Factory team and organization in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The eighth driver could join the Haas Factory team in the NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2025 is Kaz Grawl. Kaz Grawl has been driving a majority of races for Rick Ware Racing so far this year, and there is a chance that he could return to Rick Ware Racing next year. But let's say that he does not, in fact, return to the Haas Factory, to, not to Haas, the Rick Ware Racing organization next year. I think Kaz Grawl would be someone that could be a surprise candidate to get behind the wheel. He's been doing a really good job this year with Ricker Racing. He's had some really great standard performances with the team and the organization. And I think Kaz Grawl can get the best out of equipment. He has not had a top-tier opportunity in the lower series in nearly five or six years. The last time he really got that opportunity was that year he drove that 21 car back in 2020, if I remember correctly, when he was basically a teammate to Anthony Alfredo. I think Kaz Grawl, and he also remember had got the chance of that three-car lead laps in his debut. I think if you gave Kaz Grawl an opportunity and chance to run with a really solid and great organization, I think he'd be able to take it and run extremely well. So I do think there's a chance and possibility that this could happen. He does have sponsorship from Firehouse Depots and the coffee company that he's been sponsored with, and other companies like Brewbush as well could work with him. I could definitely see Kaz Grawl getting a chance and opportunity to join the Haas Factory team in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. The ninth driver could join the Haas Factory team in 2025 is Brandon Jones. Now this one's going to be a little bit of an obscure one, so listen to me. Brandon Jones is someone who could be a free agent at the end of this year. Yes, he's had sponsorship with the Junior Motorsports team with Menards all year. But we know there's been rumblings and rumors that Connor Zilich could be taking over one of those rides. One ride that might be taken over by Connor Zilich is Sam Mayer decides to not move up the cup next year. We could see Connor Zilich take over the nine car. This would mean that Brandon Jones would potentially be available. And I think Brandon Jones, because of sponsorship and funding that he brings, 
I can see him being a candidate, and I think he would be a championship contender, potentially. I don't see him going out there and winning a million races by any stretch of imagination, but he does have the funding with him, and they're going to be looking for drivers with funding, and I certainly think he will be a massive and major consideration for that. There's also a great chance he does return to JRM next year, but we are hearing rumors and rumors he's not officially signed yet for 2025. So we'll see what ends up happening in regards to Brandon Jones and what ends up happening with him, but there is a good chance and a very strong possibility we could see him on the move and maybe moving to another organization in the 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. And the 10th and final driver that could join the Haas Factory team in 2025 is Christian Eckes. Christian Eckes is being looked at by a lot of teams currently at the moment. Why? Because of his incredible performance in the NASCAR Truck Series. He has been the closest thing to Corey Heim all season long. Is basically leading the regular season standings in trucks and most likely will be your regular season champion in the Truck Series this year. And could get his first championship as well. We know there's some Cup Series teams that are looking at him for the 2025 season. And I think that if it doesn't work out there, maybe he goes to a team like Haas Factory. He doesn't, however, bring a lot of sponsorship and funding. But I think in this case, in this situation, if you've got a driver like Christian Eckes who is available to potentially get behind the wheel, you've got to take that chance and opportunity. So I could definitely see him having a really great chance and a strong possibility of something like this happening. And I think he will 100% be considered as a candidate for sure at the end of this year to maybe join the Haas factory team in 2025. We'll see what happens and we'll see where he ends up going. He might be in cover with a team like Collard or be back in trucks. But I could certainly see him join the Haas factory team in 2025 with that organization. So that is going to be it for the video on 10 drivers who could join the Haas factory team in 2025. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on. And if I win a video, that's go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Link to description below that and comment all your thoughts below on today's episode. Which drivers think are going to join Haas Factory and Xfinity? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. There won't be any more videos most likely dropping today than Wednesday. You might have an Ask Her News video talking about drivers like Bubba Wallace, of course, maybe Carlos Kurt Busch or other drivers like that on the channel. And we might talk about drivers like Kyle Busch later this week as well. I got a lot of fun content dropping through the rest of the week as we're getting through the rest of this off week. And then next week, we're back with NASCAR at Richmond. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.